Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, and you know, I live near the coast, and seagulls are very common in our area. However, up in the sky, there are several birds as well, Aquila the Eagle, we have a, a Cygnus the Swan, and we also have a seagull nebula. Now, with the ED-80 telescope I have set up out here with a 0.8x reducer, even that, taking the field of F6 down to F4.8, I don't think is gonna be big enough to capture this large nebula, a seagull up in the heavens. But there is a way. That's coming up right here on Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. So the first thing I wanna do, of course, is open up Nina. And while Nina's opening up, in case you're wondering, I'm using Bandicam to uh, record this. It's a pretty nice little program. It's not free, but it's not expensive either. It's well worth it. And here we go. Let's go full screen on, whoops. Let's load the profile. It's the Altair Astro uh, 294C ProTech camera. Let's load that in. I got it connected. And what you want to do is just connect everything while you have the chance. Uh, connect the uh, focuser, the, um, uh, I don't have a rotator, the telescope, and the guider. And uh, there you go. Now let's go into the uh, Sky Atlas. Um, I'm after IC2177, or the Seagull Nebula. And you're going to see it's, it's rather large. Uh, this is the framing assistant right here. And uh, let's go to full screen. That's a large target. Now, for my telescope, um, it's going to be a, a 480 millimeter uh, view and when you add that in there's what I'm going to see with the uh, f6 or 480 millimeters on the ED80 telescope uh, obviously I want this portion of the nebula up here I want this portion of it down here and I would like to have some of it over here as well so let's add some panels over here on the target we can add horizontal panels let's add one let's see to that and so now I got it left and right. Let's take that back off and let's go to the um, vertical panels. There, I, I just about have it all. Not quite. Let's add one more. And there, I have the whole thing in, 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 in view right there. That's what I want to get. So, and I also want to get the, um, I want to do a little bit more than 20% overlap. Uh, you're pushing it when you're doing the stitching program with 20%. So let's do 30%. And then I have to recenter the target. And um, there it is right there. Okay. So, I, uh, hmm, do I want to go up a little bit higher? I think I do. Let's, let's do that right there. Right there. And now, now recenter the uh, image. It's going to take a little bit of time there, but uh, this is it right here. So I'm going to use three images in this particular example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to record each one for, well, let's say 30 minutes, 30 minutes. There's a lot of nebulosity off to the uh, left of this as well, but let's worry about that later. So the next thing you're going to do is to add target to sequence. And it's going to be a simple sequence. This is the uh, beta version of the new NINA, which is 1.11. This is a, a, a build number 32. I had build 48, I think, was the one after this. I tried that, but it, it wouldn't work on my computer. It kept crashing. But, but build 32 uh, does seem to work okay. Uh, and it has worked okay for me. But uh, they're still working on that. Anyway, what we want to do is, you notice I have a panel 1, panel 2, and panel 3. Uh, those relate to the um, panel 1, panel 2, and panel 3. So I want to go back into the uh, sequence. And to start them off, I want to uh, start the guiding. When I, when I start, salute the target, center the target, and let's do an autofocus. And I'll have it pre-focused before I start, but uh, definitely want to turn on the autofocus. And the next thing you want to do is I want to take a 30 minute exposure. So I want to take six, let's do um, 300 seconds. That's five minutes, six times five is 30. That's that new math. 
and uh, I, I do like to dither and I'm going to set the gain my, my, my default gain uh, unity gain for this camera for my camera in the system is 450 but I have the Altair quad band filter on that which really you know shuts down the light because it's filtering out a lot of the side light so I, I bump it up to 900 on the gain for this and the offset at 20 there you go so it's all ready on this one here so we got to do it again for panel two. Focus two. All right, so let's check everything. We got target number one, or panel number one, all set. Nope, we got a slew to the target. Turn the guiding on. Okay, everything's set there. Okay, uh, number two, everything's on, everything's set. Six, 300. Uh, okay, and then panel number three, everything on, 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 on. Six, 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 dot, 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 and we're ready to go. All right. So what I want to do now is going to save this. I'm going to save it as the seagull target. Uh, I had a, a, a six panel. Let's do three panel here. Okay, three panel. All right. All right. So now the next thing I want to do is just hit go. But right now it's daytime and it's cloudy. So I have to wait for the clouds to clear out and I want to wait for the, um, of course, nightfall to fall and then we'll let her rip. And after I do the uh, three panels of 30 minutes each, then I'll process those in Deep Sky Stacker. And then from there, I'm going to go into a program called ICE, which will stitch these together. How do I do that? Let me show you. Well, now that I just about finished with the uh, stacking in Deep Sky Stacker, let's open up the files and process them a little bit in uh, PixInsight. And here we have panel number one, uh, the first panel. Panel number two is right over here. And there you can see uh, this goes below this one here. And then panel number three is the bottom panel itself. And uh, there you have it right there, the uh, stacked images uh, from the viewing from last night. Now let's go over into Photoshop and uh, take a look at some of these. This is again a pre -pro or post process now in Photoshop. This is panel number one. This is panel number two. And now this is panel number three. So the next step we have to do is go into the image composite editor or commonly known as ICE. Now, ICE is a free software from Microsoft, but because it's free, you're going to get a, a, some commercials for a lot of their products, which is all right, which is all right. So the first thing we want to do is uh, open up the images, a new panorama from images. You can also do this from videos if you have videos. Anyway, let's go to the, the uh, images and I have uh, panel number one. Let's open that one up. Um, uh, Add image, panel number two, right there, where are we? Panel number two, and add image, as soon as it adds it. And panel number three, right there. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is these three panels right here, I wanna stitch them together. Watch how fast this goes, stitch. Uh, here it's doing the uh, processing right now, aligning the images and um, it takes a few seconds, not too long with just the three images. If, if you had more images, obviously it's gonna take a longer time. Uh, but now it's just about done and here we go. There it is, all stitched together, a little um, uh, bland at the moment, we'll fix that up. And then we can crop this. And there you have a uh, auto crop. I can fine tune it a little bit more. You can see somewhat of the uh, the uh, seagull itself right here. And the next thing you do is you export it and send it over into uh, your image uh, processor. In this case, I'm going to be using Photoshop. So let's go back to Photoshop, and here we have the uh, the three images again: one, two, and three. And then here's the final product. Isn't that nice? Now the view, the camera view, you know, this is one, this is two right here, and this is three. Oops, this is three, uh, three down at the bottom. Take that uh, selection off. But there you have it. Not bad. 
In case you're interested in trying this uh, at home for yourself, I'll, I'll put a link to the Image Composite Editor, commonly known as ICE, in the description box below. And if you like my page, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And uh, with that, uh, I have now over 1,500 subscribers. Thank you very, very much for that. Now, looking at this picture, let's take a look at it right now as I talk about it. Look at all the stars. And these are stars just in our Milky Way galaxy uh, in and around this nebula itself. Uh, it, it just boggles my mind to, to see so many stars. And yet, this is only part of our galaxy, a very, very small part of our galaxy. <laughs> our galaxy is just of many of billions of galaxies out there. It has to boggle the mind. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Well, remember, the heavens are filled with majestic glories, all in a sky near you. Unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone.